After Lincoln Clay vanished, Thomas Burke assumed control of the city. According to his daughter, Burke's liver was riddled with cancer. He should have lived maybe, oh, another six months. But that selfish bastard used the money Lincoln left him to go to Mexico and get a black market transplant. And then he hung around for another 16 years. Now, he flooded the city with booze, then expanded into drugs, first heroin, then cocaine. He used the same infrastructure he'd set up for moonshining, and within a year or so, most of the cocaine entering the country came through here. Anyway, um, <laughs> Burke was one of the wealthiest men in the southern United States. Hell, he bought himself a seat on the city council and got the township's name legally changed to Bourbon City. But all that cocaine attracted other criminals, and Burke went to war with the Cuban gang. Um, shootouts in the streets, uh, car bombs, a brothel burned to the ground. When the Cubans called him out, Burke came. Armed with an M60 and grenades, he killed eight men before they put him down, and that was uh, 1984. And since then, no one has sat on the throne for more than a few months. The city is still a lawless fool's paradise. After Samarcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. The trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years, met him a woman. Seemed like he was going to get married, but... And it, it all came apart, don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Someday he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake. And I'll be waiting. I promise you that. <laughs>